What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and happy 4th of July. Hopefully you guys didn't stay up too late like I did. And I'm a little foggy this morning, paying for it. But anyways, it's not going to stop me from uh, my little journey here. I'm trying to make a little chart so that just so I can see things, you know, in my head. I want, I want to make a chart so that I know for a, and this is strictly for symmetrical balls now. Like asymmetrics is a whole nother beast and I'm, I'm working there. But first, symmetricals, there's less going on. And uh, I just, I wanted to see where, you know, where I should be putting pins, where I should not be putting pins, like what the differences are between the, you know, pin up, pin down, short pin. And obviously like if I got a pearl ball in this same, caliber of bowling ball I would know like this chart would work and I could probably go a little bit stronger because pearls are later and I could probably get away with that so so far I know a two inch pin two inch uh, short pin is like the strongest I want to go that would be for like medium oil conditions and medium to heavy and that would work good on the other end of the scale, we have four and three quarters. I know that that's as strong as I would want to go with a solid for medium to heavy lane conditions. My sweet spot is between like five and a half and six and an eighth. That's, that's my sweet spot up there for this side of the scale. But I never really... I never really, uh, you know, experimented with the short pin enough, and I, I really wanted to give it a chance. So I did the two inch short pin with the uh, Venom Shock, and obviously, yeah, it was, it was a bit much. So there's the uh, two inch short pin layout. Then we jumped to a four and three quarters pin up, and now, I went with a three quarter, three quarter by five and seven eighths by inch and a half down. And the only reason I like, so with the short pin layout, I couldn't choose to have the pin up or down. I tried laying it out a million different ways and it just wouldn't work because my, my PAP is five and three eighths over by an inch and a half down, so I have to go an inch and a half up, which always put the pin down. So that's the layout. Three quarters by five and seven eighths by an inch and a half down. Short pin layout. And I went and tried it out. You're gonna wanna see this. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, before I left the house, per usual, I polished the bowl because it's easier to sand it down than polish it up at the alley. I put the uh, 5500 Sierra Crown, uh, aka Turtle Wax, on it and uh, went and threw a few shots and it was like, it, it wouldn't make it back. It wouldn't make it back. And I, and I was scared to overdo it because the, the first two layouts this ball was polished like glass, and I could not control it. It was out of control, way too strong. So I was like, well, this must be a really strong cover stock then. I don't know. So I scuffed it lightly, threw a few more shots, and then I saw, okay, yep, I'm gonna sand it all the way down. So I took it out and I just hit it hard, and I went all over the ball and got it down to 2000 grit, started using it, and this is what happened. So these are the first couple of shots. You can see the ball shiny. I would have had to slow my feet way down and move too far to the right for, for my comfort. 
still kind of shiny. Oh, it's getting duller. And I think by now, I sanded it all the way. Yeah, now, now, by now it's sanded all the way. And I just had to figure out where to stand, where to put it. Which takes me a while sometimes. And it was like the right lane was hooking way more than the left lane, so it was like I had to figure out where to stand in each lane. But I just kept making my micro adjustments and that was just a bad throw. But you can see, like, I understand what they're saying now about short pins being like urethane. Because they are early. Really early. Like, earlier than pinned down. Way earlier than pinned down. But it doesn't mean strong. You see how, like, sometimes it just doesn't make it back. It's just arky and smooth, so you have to get, you gotta get your angle right, which is like, you know, everyone's working on that, I'm sure. But see, see how nice, I mean, if you can't control that, then, especially here. Very, very nice. Just not nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Just nice and really nice. And hard. Way more so than the pin down hybrid. And it was kind of cool having the the short pin. You have the little orange pin on the side of the ball, close to your axis point, so you can see that little orange dot kind of like putting the piece of tape on the side of the ball. So overall, I think this was a uh, worthwhile experiment. You know, I, I pretty much, I learned a lot from this and hopefully you guys did too. But anyways, now, now that I did this, I, I, wanna, I wanna understand it and see it, be able to see it in my head and understand what is going on. So I pulled up, I was looking for a core that would illustrate this and it'd be easy to see so we have the ej tackett vip ball this is the core that's in that which obviously that ball is discontinued but i just for core purposes so this ball the core is taller this way than it is this way so this would be high rg right here. So if we're sending this down the lane like this, you're sending it down the lane and you have a high RG layout because it's going like this. So that's going to give you length and the ball is going to want to get into a roll later. Okay, we know that. The only thing I'm a little confused on is now why is just pin down, you're just starting the core a little lower when it comes out of your hand. How does that change the RG? How does that make it earlier rolling? I don't know, but it does do it. It's not huge, but it does do it. And maybe different balls are, you know, everything varies a little. But now we took the core, instead of doing this, four and three quarter pin up, here's the pin. We took the pin and we turned it on its side. So now the ball's going down the lane like this. So now we have a lower RG by sending the ball down like this. So that's gonna make it want to start up really early. And uh, it was it was smooth and arky, like really arky. Like this, 
I noticed a huge difference between pin down and this for earliness. This was early. And it doesn't mean like early strong because it was early and if you didn't get your angle right, it didn't have anything left in the back to come back and get into the pocket. So you had to, you had to get your angle straight and arky. And as soon as I could figure that out, where to stand, where to throw it, this thing had a really nice shape to it. And I see, now I see why they say short pin. This is short pin is like urethane. Because urethane, it digs in early. And I noticed on Moda's website with like the tank. So if it's digging in early, you're gonna want it to be a higher RG core to help propel it down the lane a little bit more. So that's what they do. They stick a high RG core in the urethane ball. But you don't have to use urethane if you do this short pin. And I see that now, I do. I was a little skeptical at first, but <laughs> it's quite interesting actually. So now I know in the future, you know where my sweet spots are for symmetrical pearls, solids, and uh, obviously a hybrid would just be probably somewhere in the middle. Quite interesting. So I wanna see if I can maybe get another ball and say, this is what I want. This is exactly what I want. Drill it one time and have it be absolutely perfect. Cause then I might be able to help, you know, other people. And also while I was bowling, this was kind of interesting. Very, very interesting. This, uh, this other kid comes up and starts bowling next to me. And I happened to have my high road max solid on me. It was, you know, on the rack. And he comes in and he's got the same high road max, except his is polished like glass. And mine was dull. And he was a no thumber like me. And I noticed he comes in, he starts using the high road solid. And I saw him throw it a few times. And as soon as it touched the lane, it stood up and just started hooking like immediately. And I was like, I, you probably want to check your layout. You might have too much, too strong of a layout for here. And he's like, oh. I was like, yeah, I got, I got a high road too. And I've been messing around with layouts and I, I, this one works awesome here. He's like, really? Like, yeah, here, you're no thumber, right? I was like, your fingers fit in that? Yep. I roll that one. And he rolled it and it was like night and day difference. He was like, whoa, whoa, what is that? How did you, what? It's like, yeah, that's a six inch pin. So I think uh, he was like, I, I gotta write this down. And I'm like, just go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> go check it out, that's what I'm doing over there. So yeah, overall, this was, uh, this was fun. And uh, you know, at some point I would like to get into asymmetrics and uh, you know, start messing around with that and moving that PSA around, see what that does. Figure out, uh, you know, asymmetric balls and see if I can maybe get a few that work here as well. Have a range. So, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.